what do you think are the right ways we should take when dealing with pressure given by society or your family or friends around you how do you think mm. we should not succumb to this pressure and you know kind of rise strong from it because i think this is a this, this kind of pressure is a lot to deal with for people and yes, it can it kind is. of bring them down to really a uh, greater extent hmm so neha the thing is you know society is always going to pressurize you that's their job that's what society is made to do they will pressurize you they will pressurize you to take a certain career path they will pressurize you to be a certain way they will pressurize you to marry they will pressurize you to have children and they're not looking after any of this they're only pressurizing you that's their job what's your job with your life that's the question you need to ask the question is not how to deal with society the the problem is why are we dealing with society people are doing their job they are doing their talking they are pressurizing you what's your job what's your business your business is to look after your focus your goals your achievements because even if you are the most successful so called person in a definitive manner there are people who are still going to talk about you and still going to troll you in these days i mean we have that system going on now so you have people who can troll you who can uh, make you feel really demeaned in one second and put you down and make you feel like you're a nobody right so the question really is neha why do we succumb to society not what should we do we don't need to do anything we need to live our lives that's what we need to do but why do we succumb we succumb because we've been taught we've been conditioned we've been nourished to think that it's important to please society and in my opinion i i have lived my life like that and i believe that society is beautiful you can in, be inclusive but at the same time you need to know where to draw the line because you need to start minding your own business and the chatter really starts at home to be honest the chatter and the pressure starts at home because family relatives people who live with you parents these are the people grandparents these are the people who care about society and so you have no choice you feel it becomes your responsibility to do the right thing never fail never make a mistake always make your parents proud always take the right path in life and that's not possible we're humans right how are we going to always be right we're not a number we can never be absolute we can never be perfect so i guess if the sentiment at home changes which i believe now in some ways is you know if that sentiment at home changes the temperature changes where parents tell their children that you know what i know and i'm telling you sit down with me people are going to talk about you people are going to talk about your choices but do not care what people say i'm with you if you think this is the right thing for you to do go ahead fail fail well fail again and we'll go through this see there's a difference there that's so much so much uh, positivity and so much power in a minute right so i'm guessing that's where it really uh, what matters is the question the question is never about how do you deal with society you don't have to deal with them you deal with yourself the question is why are you dealing with them <laughs> what is so important about it right yeah. i think when you uh, lack self belief and uh, self confidence anything and everything can affect you like i have experienced it myself when i'm not confident about myself or i'm not confident about my goals and aspirations that i will reach them it can be mm -hmm. anyone it's like my goal can tell me it's not possible i keep thinking mm -hmm. because that's something i am not i, I myself i'm not confident about. That's yes that's yes and and you know that brings me to another part of failure here they had the fact that if you don't conform to society if you're non conformative to society you're a failure you know people who usually do not conform to society are outlaws are labeled as failures like oh you know what they don't fit in but that's the whole beauty that's the whole beauty and the uniqueness of a human being no two are the same you know you're not your your entire genetic uh, mapping is not the same so it is important for you as a person like you rightly mentioned the self belief you re, you need to understand and you need to reassure yourself even when the world does not do that for you 
that you do not need to conform to ideas or beliefs that are not yours. If you don't believe it, you don't believe it. It's okay. It's okay. It's life. You know, so I think that's that's an important way of uh, looking at a couple of these things.